Prince Alan story here for the left lane. Our job is to cruise down the left lane of British politics. Today, we're in central London, joining this demonstration against Tommy Robinson. But none of this was true. A key part of this case is that I reported what I was told. Before my involvement in this story, a mother went online and said her daughter had been attacked by Jamal. I contacted that mother. She sent me images of her daughter. She said her little daughter had been beaten by three Muslim girls and that Jamal jumped in and bit her daughter on the head. She sent me the images of the bite marks on her daughter's head. President of Unison, nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, Alan. So, why should trade unions be here today? Well, this is a fundamentally huge part of our history. You know, the trade unions have always been at the forefront of standing up against the far right. It's an obligation that each generation of trade unionists faces, and we want to we want to step up to that. And, and that's why as many trade unions as possible should ensure we're supporting demonstrations like this against the far right. We revisited the mother's house to try and get confirmation as to why she backtracked in the story she had put out and the story she had told me. And why do you think the far right is growing in power and influence, not only in Britain, but in France, the United States? Well, why do you think this is it? I think part of it is down to a genuine disillusionment with mainstream politics. People feel, people do feel left behind. You know, I'm from, I'm from Salford in the northwest of England, and there are people in communities like mine who do feel left behind, who don't feel that mainstream politics speaks for them. If a government, any government anywhere in Europe, fails to deal with the issue of the crisis of falling living standards, the crisis of poverty, the millions that access food banks all across this continent, then the blame culture against minorities and refugees and others will take over. That is the atmosphere in which the far right and the fascists thrive. And so, so further, hate and division in our communities and in our cities, and we must never stand for it. The things that people care about in this country are class issues, housing, wages. The reports record that he had been punching a much younger child in the face while holding him in a headlock, and he was pushed off him, fell and broke his arm. What I think of Tommy Robinson, well, because he is dangerous. Disabled people have a great fear of fascists. Stop filming! Fuck off! Fascists always exploit economic misery and offer false solutions that pose a direct danger to ethnic minorities. It's more about the court than it does about me. I'll return from prison more trusted than ever. There's a lot of organisation that goes on behind the scenes. When anyone sees a documentary I make, I take the credit. because the establishment parties have whipped up Islamophobia and racism because of the economic crisis that they face. We want you silent. Stop the bombings now. Jamal's alleged threat to rape babies younger 
sisters. So here we are, we are on, on Whitehall in the heart of central London. Up there is Tommy Robinson. You see a crowd of over 10,000 in Trafalgar Square. They're watching Tommy Robinson videos trying to justify hatred and racism. And down there is the very end now of the counter demonstration of people who have in fact opposing the message of racism that he's been spreading across the country. And this story, as a police officer said, is not over. There's going to be more confrontations in the future.